All right, hey guys, happy Saturday. This is Joey Baggett with Joey the DJ here, bringing you another video about why I think it's important to hire a DJ for your wedding. Now, I've heard plenty of brides say that, hey, I'm going to do it myself. I just want to have a playlist and all that stuff, and that's great. That may work for some brides, but I can tell you I have never, ever seen a bride post anything on Facebook or any social media after an event saying, man, I wish I had not hired my DJ. Uh, they usually rant and rave about them, uh, but I do see brides all the time saying, hire a DJ, it's worth it. We didn't hire a DJ for our day. We really regret it. So take the time and hire a DJ. And I'm going to give you three reasons why it's important to hire a DJ. Number one, your day goes by fast. So the first thing you need a DJ for is coordination. Yes, you guys probably all have a wedding planner, and that's great. I highly recommend, highly recommend hiring a wedding planner. But even so, you need someone to assist the planner in coordinating the timeline because believe it or not, your wedding day is going to go by in a Thanos snap, and you're going to be at your honeymoon before you know it, and you wish you would have taken more time to enjoy the day. Because you see, a planner helps coordinate the timeline with a DJ. They help plan out the timeline. But a DJ is ultimately the one that executes. If you don't have a DJ that is on board with the timeline, you are going to have a lot of problems, a lot of delays, and a lot of people really frustrated. They don't know what's going on. Me, as a DJ, I take time and I give people heads up. I give them five-minute warnings, 10-minute warnings to let them know this is what's coming up in just a second. So if you guys or wanting to be a part of the toast, if you'd like to be able to raise your glass, now's the time to go get you a beverage from the bar. But you see, if you don't have a DJ, you may not have that opportunity. It's also to communicate with your photographers to say, hey, we're about to do the father-daughter dance or the mother-son dance or the first dance. Make sure you're in position, photographers, to get these pictures you're gonna need so they are not rushing. Trust me, your other vendors will love that you have a DJ who's prepared and ready to execute these plans. Now, moving on to number two. Number two is professionalism. Yeah, professionalism is an important part of your day. Everyone's dressed to the nines, ready to party, ready to have a good time. The last thing you want is someone who's out there sloppy, sloppy representing your day. So as a DJ, it's super important to, even if it's not me, to ask the question, hey, what about your appearance? What is that? Can you give me some examples of what you're going to be wearing, what your setup looks like? Because number one part of that, if a DJ's out there and he does a great job, but he's wearing a t-shirt and jeans, probably not a DJ you want at your wedding. Now, I always wear suit and tie unless the bride specifically says otherwise. Even then, I'm hesitant to wear anything that's too casual to a wedding. It's a big day. I want to be dressed up real nice. I want to wear my suit and vest and tie as much as possible. Now, the second part of that is the DJ's setup. Now, you may not have noticed that in the past, and you may have seen a DJ that has a sloppy setup and may not have noticed it, but what's important there is when it comes to pictures, because there's a lot of times your DJ is in the back of your pictures. Now, if that's the case, you don't want a rat's nest of wires running all over the place, looking sloppy, looking messy. Even those minor details can make things look just a little bit off. So, professionalism when it comes to dress, professionalism when it comes to setup. I make sure and I have a facade that if you've seen my Facebook page, you've seen my Instagram, you've seen my facade, it's in front, it covers it. I have all my wires meticulously placed and hidden behind cords and or behind poles and behind my facade to make sure that I look the best because you guys are looking the best and I want to look the best for you. Now, moving on to reason number three, the third and final reason why I think it's important to hire a DJ for your wedding day is that we bring the party. Now, you could get to a reception, you could have your playlist set up, you could hit play on that playlist, but the problem is, if it's a song that nobody really cares about, well, unless someone runs over and hits next on the button, you have to listen to the rest of that song. 
Now, what's great about a DJ is that an experienced DJ can notice that they can read the room, read the floor, and know that, hey, this song's not working. So instead of letting it play for the minute and a half, two minutes that I would normally let it play, you could cut it off early, move on to that song, get something that's going to engage your guests. You see, a DJ's primary experience should always be being able to read the crowd and present themselves well to the crowd. They have to interact with the crowd in a way that's professional, fun, but where they can be an MC that really carries the night from start to finish. So let's recap just a hair on this one. Reason number one, the coordination. The DJ will always or should always have a timeline right beside them. I always have the timeline up beside me so I can see what's coming next and I can know. And if a planner says, hey, we need to delay this for just a couple minutes, we can do that. Number two, professionalism. You want someone there representing you guys that is professional, not only in appearance, but also their setup and even the way they interact on the microphone. You want someone who's using clean language, who's using appropriate language for your wedding. And then number three, DJs bring the party. Let us bring the party to you. Let you guys not worry about the day, not worry about, hey, is my guest going to have a good time? Are they going to have fun? Let us take care of the party. We will make sure, and I will make sure that your guests leave talking about what a party the reception was that night. So don't forget, do your research. Talk to multiple DJs. I don't care if you're in Nashville where I'm at or if you're in somewhere else across the country seeing this. You need to talk to multiple DJs. Talk to them in person if you can. Get an idea of who these people are. I love to meet with brides because I am confident if I can get in front of you to talk to you about what I can offer, that you will be happy and satisfied and you will feel comfortable going through and hiring me to be your DJ. So make sure you're talking to your DJs. Make sure first and foremost you enjoy your wedding day. Uh, make sure to give this video a like, share it if you'd like to, and let me know if there's any questions. Congratulations on your engagement, on your wedding. Have a wonderful Saturday.